yeah so just tell me tell me a little bit about about your recruitment and just kind of your high school career and the progression of it okay um i guess kind of really started uh two years ago uh well i guess more like a year and a half ago when i uh left my like public school uh in new mexico um i kind of just needed like a step up in competition coaching like ex exposure just kind of get myself out there um so that was in legacy that's uh, legacy early college which is in south carolina um which was a great experience really helped me um and then i guess kind of after that was this summer aau which is really big um played for jail three elite on the eybl um yeah we played at peach gym which was awesome so that helped me get recruited recruited a lot and then started at brewster in the fall um which has just been awesome so far we had a really good year um but on the eybl scholastic which is like the top high school league in the country so yeah yeah um i mean so that was a lot of moving just so i have it straight so you, you went to you went from new mexico to south carolina to to new hampshire correct what's the timeline on that um so i guess my so my junior year um i left like around october um because our our coach left um and, and yes yeah, so i i kind of needed to make a change there um and then I decided I was going to Brewster pretty much right after the school year ended my junior year. Um, yeah, and then I really started getting recruited like end of the summer and then like throughout the fall of 2023. Um, like that's kind of when I like got to, got to talking with Purdue and making my decision there. So, um, like the the fall, like you're starting at Brewster, was kind of when you were, when you that's that picked up for you, or was that or, or the year before? Uh, yeah, like right the summer before I came to Brewster. Um, basically mm -hmm. right after Peach Jam, I guess is like when it like really picked up, and then I was yeah. kind of talking to everybody that the fall of 2023. Okay. Uh yeah, I mean you talked to uh you talked to a lot of schools. I it kind of did did you was it officially just between Purdue and Wisconsin at the end there? Uh yeah, that was I mean that's pretty much my top two. Um, yeah, I was pretty fortunate to have a bunch of good op good opportunities, but that was ultimately top two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What kind of what kind of set Purdue apart for you? Um, I'd probably just have to say like their history of developing people like me like taller like bigs um yeah yeah i like i like their style of play i think i'd be a great fit there um yeah and like they're obviously and another thing is like their success and kind of dominance in the past few years it's, it's pretty attractive so yeah uh how tall are you i'm seven three okay all right seven three um yeah i mean no kidding they obviously the the run they've had and then with with you know zach being here um how big of a draw was that i mean just just to, to see him succeed like he has here yeah it's been super cool i mean back-to-back -back national player of the year is insane um yeah, yeah it's kind of a different a little bit of a different player than him but just being able to like watch him like kind of come from uh high school and just develop into like such a better so much better of a player been really cool so yeah yeah you seem um you seem a lot more uh, i guess fluid and kind of um you know you don't you don't you know you, you can do more than back somebody down in the post from what i've seen of your highlights is that kind of how you would build yourself yeah i guess you could say I'm more like a stretch big they kind of shoot uh a little more i guess maybe mobile uh yeah a little more versatile yeah. Um, what, what were your conversations with Paint like then? Because, I mean, the last time they had a guy like that, kind of Matt Harms, it was, was kind of a, a guy like that. Um, he couldn't really shoot much, though. Um, so, yeah, I mean, w what comps was he throwing to you and, and what kind of conversations were they having about how they could use you? 
yeah i mean he really liked i'm able to like kind of do more than like just back people down um he, we, he compared me to uh matt uh, a lot kind of talked about all the guys they've had and kind of like their unique skill sets um but yeah he's cool with me being like my own player and i don't know yeah pretty much yeah yeah no yeah um did did you talk to any other assistant or any assistant coaches a lot uh mostly coach brantley i would say yeah yeah um that's cool i mean yeah just just with the the evolution of kind of the bigs um there's two huge ones in the well yeah, three in this tournament you know with with cling and Edie and, and burns um just growing up like do you feel like kind of it's the way big men are coming up is changing now it seems like there's so many now that have guard skills uh and it seems like that's being pushed more and more i mean is that, is that something you can you relate to yeah i think it's definitely a lot more important like being able to shoot dribble uh like run the floor um especially for like playing professionally you have to be able to do more than just like play inside right yeah was that was that something that you know you started when did you start to develop that i mean has that always been a thing did you did you have you always played center even yeah i mean i've always been a, a center i guess but i've okay. kind of always been working on like shooting and trying to be more like more than a one-dimensional player like i guess since like grade school with my dad and all that um so yeah that's always been pretty important yeah you said with your dad so i mean what did he was he trying to make sure that you could you know ha have that bag and that skill set yeah yeah we've always worked on shooting together um yeah he seems like he's a big part of your like you know, recruitment and stuff. Do you guys? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, is is he pretty active with your with your you know all your stuff, your career? Yeah, he's helped me a lot uh, with my recruitment. Helped me make make the right decisions. Um, come on, business with me. So yeah, it's been great. Yeah, what's your relationship like with him? Awesome. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a little little different since I uh don't live at home anymore. Um, but. Yeah, we have a great relationship. He's been really helpful for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so is is he? Where is he then? Uh, is he still in? Is is he in uh, New Mexico or South Carolina or where, where is he at? Yeah, both my parents and my younger brother live in New Mexico. Okay. Wow. So you've been away from home for a couple of years now. Yeah. Man. Okay. So. Uh, that's actually that's actually really similar to what uh Will Berg Will Berg did. Do you know Will on the team? Yeah. Uh I know he's from Sweden, but I'm not super familiar with like his journey, I guess. Right. Yeah. Well yeah, he left home when he was sixteen, I think, uh to for basketball. Um is that is that common? How common is that for, for kids to do that? Um, I mean it's pretty common, I guess. More so if you like you're coming from somewhere that's not like the best competition. And you mm -hmm. like really need to go somewhere like to get better and get recruited. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty much more common these days. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, so is that that's why is it, is the you had to get out of New Mexico just to get the competition? Yeah, competition, being able to play against and practice with better players. Um, yeah, and then also to like be able to get more national exposure. Right. Yeah. Um why why Brewster? Why why did you go there? Um, I mean, they've had like like twenty five players, I think, in the NBA. Um yeah, we've great coaches. Um we have two different teams, like they're both play like a national schedule, so there's lots of players like and bigs that I can practice against and work out with, which is really nice. And then also they've been able to help me get recruited. Um, which which is awesome, right? Right. Um, what what pros um do you like look up to and and watch? Like, what's your favorite pro team? Uh, I'm originally from Chicago, so like I said, I like the, I like the Bulls, um, the Bucks a little bit too. Um, okay. Yeah, I like uh, Larry Markkinen. He's 
so much. Try and watch a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, how many times have you moved? Um, well, I guess twice, just like somewhat with my family, and then yeah. twice for my school. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, what's what's the difference between like playing on a on a summer you know travel team like and with and at Peach Jam and then like playing playing with your Brewster uh team or your what, what South Carolina you were you went to a different high school in South Carolina as well. Okay, yeah. What's the what's the difference there? What's the dynamics like? Um, I mean, like in the summer, it's more, it's just like basketball is kind of a separate part, of like of your life. Whereas, yeah. like going going to a boarding school, it's like, I mean, you don't really get to like go home like every night. So I mean, it's kind of like your whole life pretty much, which is a good th- a good thing. It helps you get better. Um, yeah. You said you. You can't go home at Brewster is what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, it, you just – it just, like, takes up more of your time. I mean, it's a good thing, yeah. Because of the school? Yeah, I mean, you pretty much spend, like, nine months of the year there. So. Yeah, yeah. What is New Hampshire like? I mean, cold winters, right? Yeah, yeah. It actually, actually snowed just a couple of days ago. Um, no way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a lot pretty cold. It's it's nice though. We have a lake right next to our campus. It's beautiful. Yeah. How much was Purdue on your radar before you kind of started paying attention to them for recruiting purposes? Um, I mean, I'm from the Midwest originally, so I've kind of always grew up watching the Big Ten. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I've always known they had had like great bigs there, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, it it's kind of it, it. They seem to be a little different in the way you know recruits talk about them. Um, like I, I just noticed, IU and and Michigan State seem to get different. Um, they all sell different things, right? So, um, just what do you think of that? I mean, did wh- who else recruited you aside from in the Big Ten? Aside from like Purdue and Wisconsin, um, I talked to. I got offers from Minnesota. Um, I talked to Northwestern, Iowa, um, maybe a few others, but yeah. And then a bunch of schools like outside of the Big Ten too. Um, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, just what do you think of um, you know Purdue's brand? I mean, did did anything stick out in terms of? Because you know every every school tries to tell a story. Um, what what kind of struck you about Purdue's? Um, yeah, I mean, I, one thing I thought was pretty cool was that they've only taken like like one or two transfers, um, yeah. like since the portal became a thing, which I right. think is awesome. I mean, it kind of speaks to their like the players stay. Um, they like it there. I mean, they like the coaches, which is a good sign. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean the the thing with the thing everybody everybody says about the tournament, you know, they'll say it takes guards to win, and it takes NBA NBA picks to win, and, and that's kind of something that Purdue hasn't had as much of. They've had it, They've had Ivy and and Edwards, and um, but you know maybe their thing's been bigs, and and they haven't had quite as many lottery picks as maybe other teams, but they've had the success now. Um, so just, I mean, what do you think of that? Uh, do you, do you have any opinions on, on kind of what works in March just as you've grown up watching it? Yeah. I mean, I think we kind of have our, our own style of like, like of like players that come to Purdue or like, as opposed to like other teams, like, you know, like Indiana, like different, different types of players. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this year it's kind of definitely shown that it, it works. Um, yeah, and it, our recruiting class that I'm in, I mean, there's a bunch of super skilled guards and bigs. Um, so I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, how excited are you to be a part of such a like crazy talented? I mean, uh, class. 
you know, you and, and Cannon and Jakari and, you know, I can go on. There's, there's six guys. Um, have you, have you reached out to any of them yet? Oh uh, yeah. I've kind of, I've seen them all play it. Um, just kind of like in AU and everything. Um, I went on my visit with CJ, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to kind of get to campus and get to know them all. Um, it's, it's pretty cool being in such a big class. Yeah. And then, I mean, just the way that a player like you can, can fit into Purdue. I mean, they've never, they've never gone, they've never played five out. Um, but maybe you could be the first, the first big that, that lets them do that. So, I mean, how excited, how excited would you be for that? If, if for that play style, potentially. Yeah. I mean, that'd be really cool. Um, he's, he's kind of talked to me about like, I'll be able to catch it on the top. Um, kind of like, look like look at the floor and make passes from top of the key um and then like work obviously like work my way into the post too um right. so yeah being able to being able to do both things would be nice yeah no, it, could, it could definitely unlock some things um what's what stuck out to you about paint sorry say that again well what do you think about about paint painter yeah it's super awesome coach um i really like like how he uses bigs, um, like kind of like, like how much they get touches and like how the the guards like really just have to look into the post, like use mm -hmm. use their bigs. Um, yeah, I like I like his style, um, offense. Yeah, how many how many times has he come out to watch you? Um, he's been to Brewster four times, I think. Wow, just to see you. Yeah, uh, three times, like, before I committed, then he came to one of our games. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, is that, is that uh, you know, common to for coaches to come all the way out there to, to Brewster? Yeah, I mean, we got a, we had a lot of coaches come through, um, but it was, yeah. like, super, super nice and uh, definitely played a big role in my decision that, like, he actually came all the way out. I mean, it's – you have to fly to Boston and it's like a two hour drive up here. Um, so it was really nice of him and definitely played a part of my decision. 